Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Nox3 Tutorials. To handle fetch errors, I'm gonna show you how I do it. We have a login form here, and this login form is con con connected to a function that will send this data, right? This data, say like I try to log in as this person. Uh, oh. And I say this is a password. I try to log in as this person who doesn't exist, right? So how do we handle this error, right? Okay, so this information here, when I go to the login form here, it's right here. This is where we get that information of the user, right? And then we send the user to the back end. This is where we send API users login. And this goes right here to server API users log in and it expects a post request and this is a post request. So how do we handle this particular error? Well, um, we have some other validation here, but this particular error is handled right here, right? We say check if the user does not exist. So if the user, so there's a function that we write and but a function that we write here and then uh, this this particular error code is what we send to the back. We say here, I mean to the front end. We can create an error. The status code is 401 and the status message is invalid login. And this is what we're seeing right there. So this is how I handle uh, fetch er errors in the database. I think it's professional. It, it looks really nice. I mean, fetch errors in the, in the back end. Uh, rather so if you want to learn how to do code like this how to write code like uh this this is all typed right and this is i teach this in uh i teach the students that want to learn about authentication and um i call it master nux 3 authentication and you're going to learn how to handle authentication errors like this so all this code that you see here we teach like uh, how to create user sessions and how to handle errors. And this comes from Nux3's own, um, uh, from H3 error. So this is how I handle errors, uh, fetch errors in Nux3. If you wanna learn how to create authenticated Nux3 apps from scratch, I'm gonna show you exactly how I created this little app here, which does really well. If you type in the right information, like this, you know, you get um, things work well, correctly. This is Rachel, she's logged in, and Rachel's settings are right here, and she can log out. I'll show you exactly how I did this from scratch. I'll take you step by step. Just click the link below, and I'll show you how to write good, nice, professional, powerful, authenticated Nux3 applications. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Shalom.